It is said that in the 18th century, a prisoner tried to escape from jail. He fired the iron ball from his shackles with a cannon. The projectile shot out, dragging the prisoner out of the prison. Could this method really set a prisoner free? The team visited a prison to examine 18th century shackles. The iron ball, with a diameter of 5 inches, weighed 37 pounds. If fired as a projectile, there was a real possibility of dragging a person. They built a cannon with a steel tube 2 inches thick. Tori built a solid steel combustion chamber to contain the gunpowder. It weighed 220 pounds to prevent the cannon from being blown away. Grant recreated the shackles and the iron ball, and Kerry sprayed it with yellow paint to make it easier to locate after testing. At the test field, they fixed the cannon in place and set up a fence 16 yards away as the criterion for a successful escape. First test, they used a minimal gunpowder charge. The cannon worked perfectly, firing the ball at 130 miles per hour, reaching 87 yards. Second test with a dummy, this time they doubled the powder. The dummy only flew 6 feet. In the third test, they increased to six charges of gunpowder. They noticed that the dummy's foot was deformed. The dummy had steel joints. A real human could lose the leg under such conditions. Carey replaced the metal joints with ropes to simulate human resistance. In this test, the dummy's leg flew at 200 miles per hour, surpassing the fence. The conclusion is clear. Although the cannon's power could propel a human, the body's tissues would not withstand such force, causing instant dismemberment. Instead of gaining freedom, leg left the chat.